welcome to Friday Nights with Emma and Zelda. We have a murder mittens who's helping. All the sewing machines have been packed away. Michael, you might be able to show you. Our dining room is actually, table is actually clear. Oh, he, he says no. He, he's sitting down, he's comfy. Um, so yeah, just doing some hand sewing tonight. We'll get, give you all a minute to join. Oh, and we've got the slow gym. Got something Christmassy. Mmm, that's good. Good stuff. It is lethal. So that's why I've only got a little bit because it goes down way too easy. Diamond. Oh, hi, Shirley. Elaine. Hi, Elaine. Catherine. Hi, Catherine. Christine from Glasgow. Oh, hi, Christine. Hope you're staying warm and dry. Been awful here today, just sort of that cold nizzle just about all day. Uh, Joanne and Mum Maureen. Oh, hi, Joanne and Maureen. Angie. Hi, Angie. Road of Mittens is gone. She's left us. I'll show you what I'm doing in a minute. I have to get this one finished. Terry. Oh, hi, Terry. Uh, Christine says the heating is on. Oh, yeah. Nice. Uh, Karen says Happy Christmas Eve, Eve. Uh, yes. Slow gin. I haven't had, got any this year. Ooh. Your. Uh, I, I bottled. Who's watching? Your Sarah. Oh, hi Sarah. Hi, we got the good stuff. Sarah's got a bottle of good stuff too. Joanne says all still well here. Just need good. to eat less sugar. Mm. And Lorna. That's a hard to do this time of year. Hi Lorna. Mm. I joke that it's it's um radioactive slow gin because it's made with slows from the um Thor missile site across the road. Not really. So. I mean it's not really radioactive. It is made from those slows. Your Sarah says, Oh yes, going down nicely. Mm -hmm. Thank you. you. Gotta be careful. It is it, it goes down way too easy. It's the sort of drink that you can have and just sip on and be sitting down and sipping on it. And then when you try to stand up, you can't. I've got quite a stash now. I bottled, I, I had it all in a big jug. Your so Sarah says it's dangerous. It is dangerous. I've decanted it all into little bottles, most of it into little bottles, some big bottles, but little bottles. So I can gift in small amounts so that people don't, uh, it doesn't do too much damage. Well, I'll show you what I'm doing. I have to get this finished because the label says 2022. So this, I'm finishing up my, um, autumn quilt it's going to go on the wall so I've got all the binding finally done and I've got the labels I've got the finished labels sewn on tonight so that is just an extra patch I had and then I added the selvage edges from some of the uh, fabrics so you can tell what the fabrics were and what the collection was oh and it says it had a nice saying on it actually on the selvage. It says, if you catch a falling maple leaf, you'll fall in love with the person you're walking with. I added that on too. Christine says, love doing binding in the winter. Yes. And Heather says, it's really because you want the big bottles for yourself. <laughs> you know me. You know me. And Karen says, I'll be amazed if I make it to Christmas. Trap my thumb in the car door on yes. Thursday. And today I tripped over a box on the landing and ended up flat on my face. Oh no. Could have been worse though. I had a pair of scissors in my hand at the time. Sore knees and elbows now though. Be careful. Have you been on the slow gin? Oh no, you said you don't have any slow gin. But it sounds like you do. But no, be careful. Seriously, I, I saw that post about your thumb and it, and it made me wince from afar. Dawn is watching. Worst feeling. Oh hi Dawn. 
And Joanne says, such a good idea with the salvage. Never seen that before. Yeah, well, I thought, because it's all the same, and it has such a lovely saying on it, I thought I would incorporate it because I had an extra patch. Um, well, I didn't have an extra patch. I had extra um, tar square triangles that I made into a um, little patch, well, patchwork. What do I want to say? Scrappy, little scrappy block. And then I put, did make my label. <laughs> Karen says, maybe I need some slow gin if you're gifting it. <laughs> well, you'll have to message me. I'll send you some because I've got lots and it is going down easy. And uh, so I'm just doing the sleeve now. And the way I've done the sleeve, let's see here. Christine says, love the colors and design. I do. That's right. I, this is the first quilt I've Diane made. Diane is me. watching. Oh, hi, Diane. For a long, 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 long time because I just loved it. And it's I love autumn anyway. So yeah, I had to um, I had to finish it. Your Sarah says, by the sounds of it, you don't need it. <laughs> I think that's for Karen. Christine says, good evening and best wishes for oh, Christmas. Yes, soon be here. So sleeve. What I did to attach the sleeve is when I sewed my binding on the front. So when I machine sewed it on, I incorporate the sleeve at the same time so I will pin the sleeve to the back while I am sewing my binding on the front so it catches everything it goes I sew on the binding and the sleeve at the top all in one go and then I've just hand sewn down the binding over the top of the sleeve and now I am just hand sewing the bottom of the sleeve well here's, here's Zelda hello Zelda come on Careful. There we go. What's this? What's this? Karen says, I'm just finishing one last gift, then maybe I can make something to wear, maybe. Ooh. That'd be nice. I All of my machines are put away. I'm just doing hand sewing. I've got another project on the go, but that is unpicking. So, unsewing. Um, and then, yeah, the machines are going to be away until at least Boxing Day. Catherine says, don't know what's happening here. That's the fourth ambulance screen passed in a half hour. Oh, no. I hate, I hate hearing that this time of year. Or, or big accidents. I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everybody's ready for the big day. We're actually having our Christmas, well, our turkey dinner um, tomorrow. I decided to have it a bit early. Your Sarah says, loving the sunflowers on that. Yeah, it's nice. They're really easy. It's all uh, raw edge applique. So Christmas Day here is going to be a pajama day. No cooking involved. Leftovers, cheese and biscuits, wine. Tomorrow we're going to watch Saturday Night Fever. A bit random. But why not? Um, Karen says, just got food prep to do tomorrow. We are all on schedule. Nice. Oh, did anybody watch the Christmas sewing bee? I managed to catch up on it today. I didn't watch it live. But I thought they did well, actually. Especially Sonia. Nice, it'd be nice to get this one finally done. <clears throat> and then I've got well, that's a hand quilting one. Oh, the other one I've got the binding, I'll put it over there. Marie says, Wishing you all a very happy Christmas. Happy Christmas to you all. And hopefully, the weather will pick up a little bit. I don't know if anybody else's weather was as bad as we had today. Catherine says she's watched it. That's good. What else? Oh, yeah, the other one, the other Christmas one we watched was. Inside number nine. <laughs> That's always a bit dark. <clears throat> is there a murder mittens? Yes. Yes, she is. What is she doing, Zelda? Link is on his poof. Your Sarah says, um, 
Right, hon, I have to go putting Lacey to bed. Ooh. Have a good one, guys. Yeah. Karen says, I haven't Happy watched Christmas. The Sewing Bee. I'll catch up maybe on Boxing Day. And so Terry says, Happy Christmas, everyone. Hope you all have a wonderful time. Yes, indeed. Margaret is watching. Oh, hi, Margaret. She says the quilt looks gorgeous. Oh, thank you. And Beverly is watching. Oh, hi, Beverly. Yeah, I'll be, I'm going to be chuffed to get this up on the... I've got a spot on my landing where I've got a quilt already. But it's a bit dusty, so I need to come down and get washed. Karen says, is it just the two of you for Christmas? Yeah, Mum's coming over for turkey lunch tomorrow. Oh, what's that look? Nothing. <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, just the two of us for Christmas. I'll probably see Mum at some point as well. Yeah, Kaylee and Hebu are um, with our in-laws this Christmas, and they haven't been well for a while. We've had the bugs that have been going around, so we'll see them probably in the new year. So yeah, so low-key and quiet. We do have matching pyjamas, though. I did cave and could do that. We've got some matching little Christmas pyjamas. I have to admit, little make the best pajamas. I don't know what it is. They're so comfy. Karen says so she can hear purring. Yeah. She is loud. <clears throat> yeah, Michael's got Zelda on his lap. And then, oh, I've got, I'll show you probably next time. So I actually added some more Karen, street dates. Karen asks, are they Star Wars PJs? No, they are not. No, they're Christmas. They're actually, they've got toy soldiers on them. Yeah. I'm still waiting for the Star Trek. Uh, <sighs> yeah. may, maybe, maybe that'll be Father Christmas. Maybe. I wrote a letter to the North Pole and everything. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Never know. Hello, Zelda. You coming? You coming for cuddles? Hello. Watch out, there's pins. There is, there's pins. I think she wants to go under it. She does like to go under. She, um, she's a bit, we think she's reincarnated for one of our old cats, Smokey. Smokey used to like to get under the blankets. There she is. What else did she do that he, old climb, she hasn't mm -hmm. climbed for a little while. Margaret says someone is content with that purr. Are the yeah. cats having turkey too? Oh yeah, they will be. They will be. Lorna asks, where's Link? He's sleeping in his poof. Yeah, he's on his poof. Valerie says, hi from a wet Glasgow. Is this a wall hanging quilt you're working on? It will be, yeah. I mean, it, it could be a nice bed quilt because I've got it backed in brush cotton. And it has wool in it as well, but I haven't washed it, so it doesn't have that shrink that Michael's wool quilt has yet. But it will be, yeah, it'll be a wool quilt until I get tired of it and then want to switch it out for something else. But I think it'll, I'll have to take a picture when it's up. But I think it will look good up in that spot. Oh, I've got a kitten. She likes the wool blank, the wool quilts as well. Don't you, Zelda? Diamond says I should wish on the Star Trek PJs are never coming. No, you never know. I I believe Father Christmas will. One day. If you get me, I told you. If you give me the fabric, I'll make them for you. Well. Well. <laughs> Hope springs eternal. So yeah, so I have to admit, I did kind of, well, I have, not kind of, have opted out of Christmas this year. So we we don't even have a tree up, which has been quite liberating, actually. Beverly says, stood out in the rain feeding the dogs. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it hasn't been nice. I'm hoping it's going to be brighter, at least bright enough for a walk over the next couple of days. Uh, 
Christine said we had our family Christmas dinner before my nephew and his fiance had to go back to work on Lundy Island. Oh, but on Christmas yeah. Day, we are all going to my son's first home for a homemade oh. curry. And Karen yes. says, no tree? No, no tree this year. I just had too much other stuff going on and couldn't face, couldn't face putting it up and then having to take it down again. Plus we have murder mittens, so we didn't fancy the risk. Yeah, she's she's still too very rambunctious with stuff. Yeah, so uh, we'll see. Maybe next year. Yeah, next year. Christine says, I stopped putting up a tree when my fabric took over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the other thing. We don't really have, well, we, may, we could possibly make a spot for it, but... We don't really have a, a space for Not it. anymore, not since we've redone that. No. So. Uh, Terry says roast lamb for Christmas dinner Ooh, this year. Oh, that sounds delicious. Lamb is my favorite. Marco doesn't understand my obsession with lamb, but I do like lamb. Mm. I do like lamb. We're having the turkey. We always have the turkey. So we've got the turkey on defrost. And. Yeah, I think it's good to embrace new traditions. You don't have to. Why, why do we always do the same things we always do just because it's the way we've always done it? Because that's by definition tradition. Yeah, but you can make new traditions. Then, Besides, the only people who dictate what our traditions are mostly are retailers. I know I'm possibly being slightly cynical, but... Michael's not very happy with me. He despairs of me. You can hear him sighing, probably. There's comfort in tradition. Mm -hmm. Well, we do have our own tradition. We'll watch, we'll watch Charlie Brown tomorrow night. Still the same? <laughs> Karen says you can't monkey with tradition. Turkey, turkey, turkey. <laughs> yeah, well, we don't have turkey very often, to be honest. And I do like it. I do like a turkey dinner. Christine yeah. says the U.S. is having a tough time with the weather. Yes, apparently so. Yeah. Uh, we've seen some of it on the news. Marie says we're having stroganoff for a Christmas dinner and not had turkey for 45 years. Nice, no, see? It doesn't have to be the same tradition, but it's whatever tradition. So that's that what I mean. You can make it new tradition, so you could have your own traditions. You don't have to follow it. Yes, but when you it. change it from year to year, then it's not really a tradition, is it? Okay. Well, Valerie says, the leg of lamb for us. My guys don't like turkey, and you can't ruin lamb in the slow cooker. Oh, that does sound good, yeah. We never really had turkey growing up, either. Uh, my I dad did. would make turkey. Sorry? I did. You did. Yeah, but we never had, we never had turkey for Christmas. At least mum never made it, of course. Nan, we usually ended up at Nan's for Christmas anyway, so we usually had turkey there. Oh, so you did have then turkey. Yeah, but my mum never made it. Diamond says a slow cooked shoulder of lamb oh. and then making lamby soup out of the leftovers. I tell you, the best lamb I've ever had. And I'm going to have to. I mean, I should have stopped by and got some when I was past there. But there is a farm shop in Faversham that's at the. The fruit collection. Yeah, I remember that place. Yeah, they do the best lamb. It is all salt marsh fed lamb, and they have the best lamb. It's so good. They also do lamb and mint sausages, or they used to do. Yeah, lamb I remember those sausages. as well. Yeah. yeah, those are good. Catherine says, I've never had turkey till I was 18. Oh, well. Yeah, I mean, it is big in America, but then. It's big tradition in America. You don't really have it here, where it well, used to be with turkeys, like the turkey, Thanksgiving. Turkeys were quite prevalent in the United States. Yeah, but they also, like the supermarkets would do a special on turkeys at Thanksgiving, so they, they didn't cost as much. Yeah. Um, or so you'd often, like your workplace, they would give everybody a turkey. Yes. A frozen turkey. Yeah, that's true. Well, tur to be fair, turkey and chicken are almost... People have turkey other than just on special days, too. Oh, yeah. They have ground turkey, don't they? Yeah. Karen says leftovers are the best. 
Christmas leftovers usually keep us going for three or four days. Yep. That's the plan. That is the plan. So we've we definitely got plenty of food. We've got plenty of milk. We don't get milk delivered until again next Friday. But I think we've got enough. We've probably got about how many pies have we got in the We fridge? have a lot. About six pies? We have a lot. <laughs> uh, they're not pints, they're litres. What am I talking about? Uh, we've got plenty of bread. We don't have to go get anything. We went to Waitrose yesterday to pick up just a couple of bits and it was a zoo. It was nuts. So... We are not leaving the village, at least for the next four days. Beverly says here in the UK the supermarkets mark them up. Yeah, which is wrong. Yeah. Well, it's not common, is it, other than uh, at the festive occasions here? Yeah, but the whole point of the, um, um, I think the supermarkets would give you a, a special for turkey. So what they would do is if you... No. If you Spend over a certain amount, then you get your turkey for a certain amount. When's the last time you ever heard a green grocer give you a, a discount? <sighs> Karen says, and if all else fails, we have lots of chocolates. Oh yeah, see, we didn't, I, we didn't buy lots of chocolates this year. I've tried, I, no, no boxes. But we do have lots of cheese. Catherine says her sister-in-law worked for the Ameri in an American company, and they got a turkey voucher every Christmas. Yeah. Diamond says, what about deep fried turkey? Oh. That has always scared me. It seems to be an American thing. It is an American thing, but I think it would be good. Because you see in those big ones, they usually do it outside because they drop it in. I think they, they don't do it right because of fat. Oftentimes the fat like spills over. That means the turkey's a bit too wet. Yeah. But, yeah. Terry says, bubble and squeak. Made with leftover veg on Boxing oh, Day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love a bit of bubble and squeak. Michael turns his nose up. He doesn't understand fried potatoes or bubble and squeak. So I'm fine with that. I like a bit of bubble and squeak with a fried egg. Fried egg on top. That's my thing. Yeah, I want some cold baked beans. Cold leftover baked beans on the side. Nice. Nice. Uh, I haven't made any mince pie. I made mince pies earlier in the month though, didn't I? I, may, I, I don't know. I think I had one. Karen says, I went to Aldi this morning at 8 a.m. Oh. and it was crazy. If we haven't got it now, we can do without. Yeah. Dawn says, there will be no leftovers once my lot got here. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have a, a really full house this year. Diamond says, fried eggs makes everything gorgeous. Better. Yes, this is true. Lorna says, love bubble and squeak. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I do have the cranberry cranberry sauce ready. I'm waiting. So you'll, I always make my own cranberry sauce. So that's fair. Got stuffing. What, what, actually, while we're doing it, let me think about what, what I will have, because you'll have to help me remember. So we've got turkey, we've got sprouts, we've got cabbage, we've got carrots. So I was like, oh, I didn't get any Swede. I forgot to get Swede. Oh, well. You go, I could go out tomorrow and get Swede. No, 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 no. It's not that, it's not that important. Good, because I don't really like Swede. I know. <laughs> I'm the one that likes Swede. Uh, turkey. What did I say? Oh, yeah, mash. Wait, let me start again. Turkey, sprouts, cabbage, carrots, stuffing, roast potatoes, mash. Mm. That would do us. Margaret says, bubble and squeak with bacon. Mm. So I usually, we usually order a fresh turkey. And I usually order a bunch of nice bacon and sausages to go with it. But we haven't done it this year. We just got a frozen one. Catherine says she doesn't like sweet either. Oh, I love sweet. No, I'm not a big fan. Understand. Not a big fan. Understand. Lorna says roast parsnips. No, we we don't. I like roast parsnips, but we don't usually do it because it's they're kind of hard to do. Yeah, I usually get the frozen ones, but I didn't I didn't pick any up. But I usually do do roast parsnips. Terry says and parsnips. Yeah, yeah. I do like peeling the parsnips with the smell when they're. Um, yeah, I think that's a good smell. I find parsnips hard to get to get right. They're either not. Cooked enough, or they're too crispy. Yeah. But I do like them. I do like a nice roast parsnip. I like the skinny, the skinny ones. 
Nice. I do oh, and I have the duck fat for the potatoes. I've got that already. Are we having Yorkshire's? No, no we can't now. Okay. Do Yorkshire's. That's right. I like your Yorkshire though. I can give them a try. No, that's nah, no, that's not no bad. We're gonna, we have plenty. We have plenty. I don't want to. I don't want to be cleaning for three days. Well, you will be anyway. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're complaining about. You're making me hot mittens. <laughs> you are. <laughs> you're so cute. You are. You're such a cutie. Yes. Yeah, this is the only cat other than Smokey that has liked being under blankets. Yeah. Yeah, Annie didn't. Monty didn't. No. Oh, she's making me warm. Link doesn't. No, he doesn't like that at all. No. So my theory, because Smokey came, his mum was black. Or she was a tuxedo cat. She was kind of black. And Zelda's black. So I did wonder whether it's a, a trait inherent to different, different colours of cat have different traits. Whether it's inherent. Karen said, uh, I did maple... A marble glazed parsnips one year, mm. but forgot about them and found them in the oven on Boxing Day. That's they, my mum's trick. They resemble charcoal. Yeah, my mum's trick is to forget something in the oven. Terry says, My dad was from Yorkshire, so Yorkshire pudding with onion gravy it was always the mm. first course. Yeah, my dad used to have his as a starter. Simon says, you just answered the question. I am using, I burp, I don't know how to pronounce this, I-B-E-R-I-C-O fat. i -ber -ico fat. This year it's awesome. I, say that again, I. I-B-E-R-I-C-O. Iberico. Iberico. What it's is that? It's a, um, I think. Is that an English word? It's Spanish, I think. I think it's Spanish. Isn't there like a ham that's like that? Mm, don't know. But it sounds nice. Oh, I'm almost done. Oh, this is exciting. I actually have a finished quilt. Can you see? Well, it's not the only finished quilt I've had this year. I have finished other quilts. Oh yeah, I have finished other quilts. This is the, the only one for me though. This is exciting. This is like, this is like historic happening right here. Oh, and I'll say, Stone Street. So I'm on the 31st, so a week from tomorrow <clears throat> and then again on the 7th which is an extra date um, I think somebody dropped out so they they asked if anybody could do it and I said yeah sure um, and then on the 21st so I'll be on two weeks in a row so next Saturday and then the Saturday after that too so I'll give you a little sneak peek of what I'm doing for that think what I'm doing. Well, what is the carpenter star? My carpenter star. So like your quilt, but with a different um, layer cake. And the other one I'm pretty sure it's a pip. Oh yes, it's another cave. It's a cave quip. Cave kit. So I'll show you that next next Friday. I have to get some more stuff. Mm. I do have to make sure periodically that my stitches aren't coming through on the other side. This is the last bit, last a few stitches. Then I can just Ooh, I'll be able to get this up 
tomorrow so we can have it up as a Christmas. Actually, that would be the next thing I need to work on is a Christmas quilt, even though it's not Christmas, but so we can have it up, up there next year. go last one last few stitches and it will be complete and then I'll, I'll be able to take it off my calf as well Karen says, surely your next project should be a quilted coat. <laughs> it, is, it is, yes, it is. my bat here but you have to dig it out there ta -da! completely finished sleeve done labels done being used by kitty my little kitty <laughs> Zelda approves she's probably saying who, who let the draft in <laughs> yeah so I'll be able to hang that up tomorrow. I'll try to take a picture when it's up in situ. And um, yeah, I can check for that. Ooh. Thread. There's a thread. So yeah. Yay. Karen so, says, so. yay, nothing quite like a finished project. No, there isn't. Yeah, it'd be nice to hang it up and be able to see it properly. So that's that. Dawn says, yay. Yay. Um, what was I going to say? I think that's it. Um, so wish everybody a happy Christmas. Hope everybody's day goes really well. And get to see um, everybody you want to see. And yeah, no, no burnt turkeys. No things left in the oven and forgotten about. Um, yeah, no disasters. May everybody have a very good and peaceful Christmas. And we will see you on the other side next Friday. So cheers, everybody. Happy Christmas. Happy holidays. Night all. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.